video that's since done for crazy history and we're up to the master forger most people admire real experts but everyone enjoys the downfall of those who pretend to be experts and are not that is why the dutch artist hans van Megeren is regarded as a hero even though he was a forger he hated art experts and with reason when he was starting a critic promised to write about him favorably if he paid the critic to do so. He refused and his work was damned by the crooked critic, while even the honest ones thought little of him. So he turned to forgery. In the 17th century, a great Dutch artist, Jan Vermeer, 1632-1675, painted perhaps as few as 35 works. Imagine the excitement, therefore, when art expert Abraham Bredius found a new Vermeer and showed it off in Rotterdam in 1937. It was called Christ and the Disciples at Emmaus. No one enjoyed himself more at the exhibition than Van Megeren as he was the actual painter. He had, of course, to age the picture, baking it in an oven and had made paints like those used by Vermeer by mixing certain chemicals. It was an expensive business, but he had made a reasonable living from his own paintings, though the critics despised them. Other Vermeers followed. 1939 came and the Second World War. After it, Van Megeren was accused of selling masterpieces to the Germans, including Hermann Göring, Hitler's number two. Van Megeren came clean. He had only sold forgeries to the Germans. No one believed him, so he painted his first Vermeer again, and then another one. The experts were covered with embarrassment. After all, people had watched him painting a Vermeer. In 1947, he was given a one-year prison sentence for forging signatures, but just before he was jailed, he died. However, he had made a fortune from his forgeries and had had his revenge on the critics, so his career had been a triumph indeed. Except in one thing, however, Goring had paid the forger and forged banknotes. And that ends that instalment for Crazy History.